uh, Mount Crosby Weir. Catch up with a good mate of mine, Grant. We're gonna go for a, uh, a bit of a fish down there to the river. Righto, Grant, you're a bit of a gun in this area. Run us through um, the gear we're gonna use today and what we can expect to, uh, to catch. Righto, okay, so this is just like a bass rod. So you, your typical two to four kilos. And just running about a, I think she's about a 15 pound braid. Yep. I'm gonna put a 12 pound on it and I've got a little one, little, that's like a one to go and cover. It's kind of a Japanese hybrid. Yeah, it's like a jig vert mix yeah. uh, spinnerbaity type. Yeah, about yeah, the, yeah. About yeah. The... Um, when I was in Japan, I went to this uh, little shop that had four levels of like rods and mm. things like going to heaven. If I'd have died then I would have been okay. <laughs> And so that one, that one just like bassing. So you've got about uh, two hours to dark, I think. So the, you'll do a bit of that stuff early and then transition to that uh, surface bite. And you're gonna, you've got on there, it looks like a Dahlberg diver, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a, this is a bushy bandit. A uh, bushy bandit. So it's a bit of a Dahlberg diver, but with a big tail on it. And that's meant for togas, yep. bass, or anything on the surface. And that's the one, mate, that we, like you smashed it on smashed in. Smashed that solid mass under the tree. Yeah. So with the dark on dark, there's a nice profile on the surface. They get seen a lot more. So I'm going to try that out. And but I've got some subsurface if they're not on. But I, I just absolutely love it getting on this. This is an eight weight. I've got a floating line, and that's white because when you when you look up and the fish looks up and they look at the clouds. It's the same colour as oh, the sky in the clouds, and that's yeah. the theory. Instead of having green, and it's for salt and thing. Um, and then I've, I actually go a little bit heavier, so it's like 20 kilograms, and then I put 12 on the end on the leader. Yep. Um, just because with with fly, they can if they hit it real hard. You, you can lose your fly a lot easier than on a on a spinning rod, especially in the river where there's plenty of structure for them to just uh, duck back yep. into. Yeah, for yeah, sure. you can't really pull them out as hard. You got to play them, so you want a bit stronger line. You don't finesse it as much, only for trout. Nice, not for bass. So yeah, that, that's the the lineup. So if we can, and then uh, maybe a pompadour later on duck. Yeah, pompadour. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Get that surface oh, bike mate, going. Mate, if I'm not sponsored by them, but if I was, <laughs> I'd tell you they're awesome. <laughs> Like he's seriously like the, you know, guy. I went down to um, Charlton. Is it Charlton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. And uh, and that was years ago when I was first here. And they go, yep, try this thing, Pompadour. And they go, bass are loving it. And every time when I was in Darwin, they'd say, yeah, yeah, this is the Lord Barrel love him. And if every shop says that they sell you. And I went, yeah, whatever. That's bullshit. So as soon as I took the Pompadour down, bang, it just gets smashed every single time. I don't think there's been one time when I've put it out, it hasn't been smashed. And I know for me, um, we did a trip out west with a few of the boys and uh, called into a tackle shop at Warwick and stocked up on pompadours and that was the killer that weekend. It would absolutely smash it. So very, very good lure. Neither of us are sponsored by it, we'll just tell you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go fish it, mate. Okay, let's do it.
number 54. Your meal is ready. You just can't underestimate actually how hard that cast is. The uh, less experienced fly person would be up a tree, around branches. I said to you, I you said, to, right. hold it, hold it, hold it. He's on. Oh my God, you were right. Oh, he's oh, a nice he's, one. He's solid. <laughs> solid That's a solid oh. fish. That's a beauty. Oh. How right were you? That's the one you were tracking, eh? Hey? Yep. I said to you, hold it there. Because I was sitting about six or eight feet off that, oh, off that edge. High five, my friend. <laughs> that was awesome. Good stuff, mate. Well done. It's all epic. Oh. All right, Grant, we've come down river a little bit. All so right. explain how you fish this stretch. All right. Okay, even though it's a big open river and you'd usually go for the bank or the other side, there's a, a rock bar in there, or a rock bar, like a semi rock bar that goes all the way down. And just on the other side, three quarters out from here, so maybe 15 meters off the bank. Apparently they do a lap. That's what one guy, guy Wes from Charlton just said, to do a big lap. That's what trout do, and you've got to try and find where they are at the time. You just leave a surface out there like that. So you're looking for like a bait flick or, or a yep. little rise or something like that to give you yeah, an indication where, where, where they, they are? Coming up the surface. Yep. Nice. Yeah, let's see what happens. And you've got that little, are you changed pompadours? You yeah, went up size? Big, big green pompadour, this one. The Grand Poobah Pompadour. <laughs> Mm. I've got a big purple one in case the colour's not right. You brought out the big dog. Yeah. That's a good one. And apparently you just don't worry about this side. Just look at him. Like that. Hang on. There we go. Which is something you, you would probably use around that size even for cod out west. You reckon? I reckon, yeah. Or maybe, yeah. maybe the next size up, but certainly... Well, you um, think, oh, maybe that's a little bit too big for... Bass, but funny enough, with that colour, they, they smack it, so. Nice, it's like a. The crea it's more the, more the profile than the, and the, and the movement in the water. So we'll try over, we'll just work it a bit. You know, good old hoik. A little bit, yeah, it's around about there. Well, Grant, thanks for a great little oh, session, man. mate. That was fun. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, a little bit light on the fish, but that one fish I think made up for, uh, for the whole session man it was awesome yeah to yeah. um yeah as you say nut it out and and uh talk through together and yep and sort of um work it out it was pretty cool yeah well that's what um that's what teamwork is and then like as we just talked about before why are we surprised that when two people like work together in a team things go better that's it yeah <laughs> so yeah. that was a that was a ripper 
That was a good fish, a solid yeah. fish. That's a good river yeah, actually, fish. Yeah, that's one of the best ones I got out of there. Yeah, and and on the surface, which I just love. <laughs> <It's> nothing better. <laughs> so good. Thanks, yeah. man.